Hi, I'm Sean Tittle, and uh, I'm the Chief of Thoracic Surgery at Norwalk Hospital, and we are here in the Department of Surgery. As part of the Western Connecticut Health Network, Norwalk Hospital provides world-class healthcare and innovative treatments to those in need. Using the most advanced research technologies and the dedication of its focused staff, Norwalk Hospital strives to make a meaningful difference to its community. I take care of surgical problems of the chest. Um, primarily that would be cancer, so lung cancer, esophagus cancer, any of the primary cancers that um, start in the chest. I think the goal of Western Connecticut Health Network of Danbury Hospital, of Norwalk Hospital, is to provide the right care at the right time in the right place. Okay. Yes. It's more than a slogan. It's what we really believe in because we're taking care of the members of our community. I went to medical school in Detroit where I grew up and then came for residency out to Connecticut. I finished my training at Yale for a couple of years and decided that I wanted to be part of um, a real community of physicians looking at their community specifically. There's an exciting new world that's opening up with DNA-based therapies. If people have cancer and they have tumors, then sometimes they have mutations in their DNA and there are uh, exciting new drugs that can be targeted. And I'm gonna have you jump right up on here. Specifically to people with specific mutations. Perfect. So that's one of the biggest, most exciting new technologies and we emphasize that very heavily here. We also emphasize minimally invasive surgery so people can get back to their lives as fast as possible. The robotic minimally invasive surgery doesn't act independently, it's more an extension of you know, surgical hands. Because the instruments are so small, the incisions can be smaller and people recover faster with less pain. We really believe in the technology. When I see somebody who is treated either at Danbury Hospital or at Norwalk Hospital, and I see them in the community, and it's been four or five years since they were diagnosed, and they're doing great and cancer-free and living a productive life in the same community that I live in, that to me is the best. These are our neighbors, these are people who work in our schools, these are our friends. Mm -hmm. Um, this is our community, and we want to be sure that the people who come in to be treated here are aware of the fact that they're not strangers here, that they're our community. And so we want to know specifics about how we can care afternoon. for them best and you? provide support Good. for Good. them and their families. Everything from the moment you're diagnosed um, all the way through, we have people who are dedicated to taking care of this problem, and we work together. So I think I'm gonna put them on for Monday. Okay. And I think we have to do an open case. Okay. We have um, meetings together on a regular basis, and we discuss okay. care. You can also use the HEDA SEP to get rid of the red cells. And we get everyone's input to make sure that everything is optimized. I feel very fortunate to have the opportunity to take care of people at a time of um, significant distress. If it was my family member, I would want someone taking care of them who loved what they do. And I love what I do. We want to make sure that the people that we're taking care of have the highest quality of life for the longest possible with the highest chance of survival. We have uh, comprehensive support groups and survivorship groups. Um, we have patient care navigators who make sure that people make it to their appointments and that there's no delay in delivery of care. It's putting all of that together with DNA targeted therapy, advanced robotic minimally invasive surgery, and a patient care experience that I would hope to be able to give my family. That's what makes it important or makes it special to me.